There's a signal from another world, a wayward transmission adrift between dimensions, a frequency not found on any normal radio dial. I never believed it was possible until I found the radio on a dirt road in the Pine Barrens. It broadcasts from a reality like our own, but uncanny. Familiar landscapes and places, but through a dream, through a nightmare. You are now a part of the Lost Signal Society. With the moon in a fish's position, refracting from pyramid to sphinx, will our hero rescue the beautiful Myra Winters from the dusty clutches of the malevolent mummy Abati? Tune in next time for the startling conclusion of Rathbone, the Magician. Sorry, lousy reception down here. Why don't we play the game instead? I already have someone in mind. You go first. Is it someone famous? Uh-huh. That's one. Is he dead? No. Okay, wait. Is he a he? Yes, it's a man. Okay, um, let's see, wait, um... Well, I know absolutely who it is. I, I mean, I'd be very surprised if you didn't. Okay, so he's an actor. Yes. Is he in pictures, or the radio? No, no, no. Yes or no questions only, Fine. Jane. Fine, is he in pictures? Yes. And is he on the radio also? Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is he handsome? Do women find him desirable? He has a certain magnetism, I suppose. Yes. Okay, that's seven. Technically eight. But I won't count your question about whether you know him or not. But that's the last time I let that pass. Oh, well, it could be anybody. So you quit already? Not yet. Let's see. Is it Orson Welles? <sighs> How did you know? Because it's always Orson Welles. We just heard him on the radio. Have you seen his new picture? I rarely get out to see pictures. I'm stuck here all the time. Hmm, very funny. No, I didn't. I, I didn't mean to sound insensitive. Well, your turn to think of one. You know, I'm actually going to beat you one of these days. That's the third time someone's come to the door in two days. Uh, I'll only be a moment, Jan. Just stay here. Oh, I'll try. I'm sorry, didn't mean that. Another solicitor? They're persistent. There aren't enough Avon ladies in this county to account for the amount of solicitors we've had in the past few days. It was the police, wasn't it? They found the car wreck. Which means they found my headless body. Jan. They're looking for Bill. Jan. And he's out there looking for- Jan, me. please! I don't want a body that's not my own! Let's turn on the radio, huh? There's a classical music program starting in a bit. Bill? Bill, is that you? Honey? Honey, please come down. Come down the stairs. Bill? Why won't you look at me? Uh huh. What's that? A sandwich? I thought you were very strict about that no eating in the lab sign. 
I felt a little strange eating upstairs all by myself with you down here. Thought I'd enjoy my lunch with you. Mm, what did you make yourself? This is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Hmm. At least it's something I don't like. Now, if it were a grilled cheese. Remarkable. You can feel hunger, but how? There must be some sort of phantom feeling, a sort of a remembrance of it. <laughs> I can make you a grilled cheese if you'd like. Oh, Kurt, you're too serious. <laughs> yes. So you don't like peanut butter and jelly? You know, I eat one every day. You are pretty easy to please. I like to keep my life clean and simple. No attachments. No attachments? A woman would only make my life too complicated, with all that I have going on down here. As I said, simple. But you enjoy that, working here, only here? Only here? Jan, Bill is doing important work here. It might not be recognized now, but his experiments will change the way we think about transplants. Hmm. Transplants. That's what I am. A helpless experiment. Can't even scratch my own head. That diploma. You and Bill went to school together? Uh, yes, uh, and we worked together at the clinic until his, um, his, his... His firing? His departure. Look, the work we were doing, the, the work we are doing, it's, it's important, Jan. When Bill left the clinic, he asked me to join him here in his private lab. You don't have the desire to work on your own project? No, eventually, yes, I would like to, but, but right now I'm rather committed to the work I do here with Bill. You don't get lonely down here all day? Not these last few days. Oh, Jan, hang on one second. The neural impulse regulator isn't receiving data. Allow me to just adjust this here. <gasps> God, your hand! I'm sorry. I forgot I'd removed my glove. No, no, I'm... I'm sorry, I was just surprised. I didn't know you, um... I didn't, I didn't know it was like what? that. Deformed? What happened? Um, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have asked. There was an accident in the lab. It was my own fault. Bill got here just in time, and he did what he could. He performed a successful hand transplant. Successful? The tissues in my body partially rejected those of the transplant. That's why it looks like this. The procedure isn't perfect, but it will be. And that's why you work here. In time, my hand will be restored, and, and so will you. And what if I don't want to be restored? But Jen, with my operation, this process was still in a, its elementary stages. But Bill's almost perfected the procedure. It will be different with you. Kurt, this is not an amputated hand. My entire body was irrevocably destroyed. I'm a head in a dish kept alive by the whim of a madman. I'm trapped. I'm trapped by a man who lied and said that he loved me. Trust Bill, Jan. Trust me. Yeah, trust got me into this. And where is he? Whose body will I inhabit? Where does somebody even get a body? It's supposed to be mine. And I'm not supposed to even ask questions. I don't want a body that's not my own. You'll be restored. Restored. Like it's so easy. But your, your brain hasn't died and that's you. And how do you know it'll work, Kurt? Jan. If there is even the slightest chance of giving you your body back, wh why wouldn't you want to take it? You'll be part of a revolutionary breakthrough. I'm sick of being a revolutionary breakthrough. That's all I am to Bill. He loves you, Jim. He lusted after what I was, and now he won't even look at me because I'm a monstrosity. Jim, we're in the middle of a process. Things always seem strange when they're incomplete, when they're in a, in a state of, of becoming. No, no, in a state of transformation. It, the, the caterpillar and the butterfly are still the same oh, creature. Oh, don't compare me to an insect. And he won't even come talk to me. He's not doing this for science. This is about ego, and this is about power and how much he thirsts for it. I should have died, Kurt. Okay, lastly, the queen is the most powerful piece. She can move in any direction, as far as she wants, as long as nothing is obstructing her path. She's the one you want to hang on to. Mm-hmm. Think you got it? Okay, great. 
As white, you make the first move. Okay, where's Bill? A common first move is the king's pawn. Where to... is he, Kurt? He's gone back out, Jan. Of course. Gone back out where? To find my body? Let's guess what kind of body Bill wants for me. Is it a cocktail waitress? Or a cheerleader from the university? I bet he thinks I'll thank him. Please be patient, Jan. Be patient. For a thing I don't want. Patiently wait for my transformation from monster to affront to god. How could you even let him do this? You have power. And yet you watch me suffer like this. You can save me. You can tell him there was an accident. You could tell him there was nothing you could do. You can tell him whatever you want. I can't. You can't see that he's using you. Dangling the carrot of a normal life, forcing you to help him with his experiments, telling you that eventually he'll fix your no. hand. You're a fool. No, Jan, it's not, it's not like that. Bill and I are partners. We, this is a, we are working together here to make something for science. We are, we are developing. Ugh, science again. You're a weak man, Kurt. You think it's fair he's trying to control me? Maybe I don't like the body he wants to give me. Maybe if I wanted a body, it'd be the body of a large woman or a man. But no, I can assure you that the body that he is looking for is the body that he wants for me. And I hope that new body turns out like that horrible monstrosity of a hand of yours. And then we'll see how much he wants to show off his scientific innovation to the world. Chan, you're, you're not horrible. You'll be beautiful, just like you were. Just like you are. No, Kurt. Like all quantities, horror has its ultimate, and I am that. Jan, Jan, please don't cry. It really, it, it hurts me to see you like this. You don't even know me, Kurt. Oh, I, I feel like I do. I, I feel like I've really gotten to know you the past few days. And if you only knew how much it, it hurts me to see you unhappy. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is hard for you. You are your heel. Just like Bill. Just like all of them. I see. Well, I won't bother you anymore then. I'll just continue with my work. I'm, I am sorry, Jen. I truly am. What's with the pitcher of water? Gonna start a lemonade stand down here? Excuse me? And the shampoo. Maybe a pet washing business? No, Jan. This, this isn't for me. What are you doing? You may not want to be my friend, Jan, and I'm fine with that. But I am still your doctor, and it's my job to maintain your well-being. And aside from being unsanitary, I know how itchy my hair can get after a few days without washing. Oh, and don't worry, I... Won't use my horrible, deformed monstrosity of a hand. Mm. Oh, that feels good. Kurt. Kurt, I'm sorry about what I said. Thank you for remembering about my hair. Why don't, why don't you bring your dinner down here tonight? Maybe we could listen to the radio? 
Do you really mean that? I do. It looks like you're having a lot of trouble with that. No, it's... it's I'm fine, it's just a little cumbersome, but, but it'll be worth it. I hope you don't mind uh, me setting two plates. I, I felt a little strange setting dinner for one on a, on a date. I mean, a, a, for dinner. <laughs> no. You know, even if you can't eat, I suppose you might enjoy the smells. They say most taste comes from smell anyway. Very considerate. Wine, even. Yeah, I know. Look at me. Breaking my own rules. Drinking in the lab. Kurt, you're spilling all the wine. Oh, Jesus. Well, I suppose we should turn the radio on. You know, Rathbone should be starting soon. Reminder for our local businessman. Why not use this radio program to promote sales and goodwill? You will be proud to support Rathbone the Magician only on the American Radio Network. Listen to that sound. It's so clear, isn't it? Yes. Shh, it's, it's starting. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We invite you back to this week's story of murder, mystery, intrigue, and romance. The story of lost love, superstition, and good and evil. A tale that will take us out of the comfort of our living room, out of our provincial reassurance of what is normal, and bring us to the far deserts of Egypt, into the darkest tombs of the pharaohs whose sun has long since set over sandy horizons, where ghosts and gods of an ancient people still yield power over a false deity of modernity. It's a tale as chilling as the desert nights. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the shocking conclusion of Rathbone, the magician. I am Rathbone, and I know many things, strange things, magical things. I can read the darkest thoughts hidden in the darkest corners of man's hearts. I know the evil that lurks within all of us. Tonight's story takes us back to the deserts of Egypt, where a mysterious Dr. Robati... Okay, do you need me to fill you in on the premise? Rathbone is a magician, but he moonlights as a crime solver, week, and he's constantly getting himself... I think I got it. ...to an ancient tomb hidden deep within the desert. A full moon shines blue over the sands. Oh, help! Help! Help me, Rathbone! Miss Winters, are you in there? Help! The door! It's sealed. I can't open it. Yes, it has me strapped to some sort of altar! Quiet, my dear. My princess. For soon you shall be reborn, and we shall be together again. No! No, you vile! Help, Rathbone! Our eternal love shall be forever revived. You shall be the reincarnation of the princess. And we shall be united as one. Not so fast, Abati. Or should I say, Taris. Rathbone, how did you get in here? The door was I knew sealed. It. Ah, but you forget. I am a magician. Why did you call him Taris? Rathbone's going to find a way to get out of this. He always the does. The Do you like the program, Jim? Yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Indeed. Kurt, I've been growing rather Sometimes fond of Sometimes I really don't know how Rathbone's going to get out. From the Cairo Museum. What did you say? Just last week. I've... Yes. I've been thinking yes, I am, about what you said I earlier. Come to reclaim my love. You're not a weak man. Your magic is not enough to stand up You're to a sweet man. And I like talking Rathbone. to you, and oh, Rathbone, you've always treated me well. Don't worry, Myra. Surely um, you can't do anything without me. I'll be honest, Jan. I'm, I'm very surprised. I didn't think you could ever feel that way. About me. I mean, you can't. Right You're with Bill. I know, I know. It's no, wrong. Jan. I don't know how to say this, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Getting to know you these last few days? I, I think I've fallen in love with you. I'm sorry, I, I went too far. Kurt, I'm... I'm beginning to feel the same way. You are? Kurt, will you kiss me? We'll return momentarily to this week's episode of Rap. Bone the Magician, but first, a word from our sponsor. Good morning. 9 a.m. Well, I've overslept. We were up late. Yes. All right, well, I should clean up a bit and get to work. 
of Jen, I, I really enjoyed last night. Me too. But you know that this is impossible. I know. As long as Bill is in the picture. Yes, I know. What if he wasn't in the picture? I mean, if something were to happen to him. Don't you, don't you see, Kurt? The only way for you to be free, for me to be free from his stranglehold, is for us to be free together. What if Bill was no longer in the picture? Jan, you're, you're, you're not. It's you're, the only way. Jan, I can't stand to see you suffer. I, I can't. But, but what you're describing is... Murder? Hasn't he murdered us by taking away our lives? Forcing us to stay here? I don't want to say it either, Kurt, but you know that it is the only way. Down here, Bill. Uh, we, we had a little issue. Can you can you come down? Are you are you down here, Kurt? Where are you, Jan? You're awake. Oh, I am more awake than I have ever been. What's that supposed to mean? Do it! You've only knocked him out. You've got to make sure he's dead. Do it! Drop the radio! Crush his head! Do it, Kurt! Do it! my hands, sterilize everything. I'll have to Kurt. get rid of his car. Kurt. Jan, I'll be back soon. Kurt. You did it. You really did it. Good riddance to the bastard. I did. I did it. I really did it. It was what you had to do. He was an evil man, Kurt. He was. He was. Because he didn't love you for you, Jan. No. No, he didn't. Not like I do. Because I do love you, Jan. I love you just as you are. Then you have to do what you know my heart wants. You have to let me die, Kurt. Die? Yes. It was always the plan. And my suffering will both be free. Don't you see it? The natural conclusion of things. <laughs> I can't let you die. Kurt. Jan, I, I can't let the woman I love die. I I love you, Jan. I. So you'd keep me alive? You're going to keep me alive. Like Bill did. You're going to... No. You're going to keep no. me here? No. Not like him. Nothing like him. Oh, God, Kurt. He didn't want you as you are, Jan. Jan, we love each other. No, please. Me, the way I am. And you, the way you are. Two monsters. Jan, we are the completion of the transformation. Don't you see? Don't you see it, Jan? 
We'll show the world that beauty can be born from monstrous things. <laughs>